Hi, I'm Anil Kumar, and here is a very interesting question to share with you. This is from Grade 7 book. The question is, there are 12 persons in a meeting and they all shake hands with each other. Find the total number of handshakes. Now, uh, we can make a table of values to help us find a pattern, right? So let us write down number of persons here. So we say number of persons. And here we'll write number of handshakes. So if there's one person, how many handshakes can be there? Well, none because uh, nobody to shake hands with, right? But if there are two persons, then we can have one handshake. Is that okay? So what we are saying here is that now let's say there are two persons. These are the two persons. One person, no handshake. But if there are two persons, then there is one handshake between them, right? Now let us say the third person joins in. So if the third person joins in, let's say this is the third person who joins in, then there will be two more handshakes. Do you see that? So this third person shakes hand with both who were present. So we have plus two handshakes. One plus two can give us a number, which is three. So one, two, and three. How about the fourth person joining in? So if the fourth person joins in, then the fourth person will shake hands with three already existing, right? So one, two, and, and three, correct? So that means plus three. Plus three to what was already existing. So we get our new number, which is three plus three, which is six. You can also count these lines now. There are a few. One, two, three, four, five, and one, six, right? But as the numbers increase, it will be difficult for us to count those lines. Now, let's add one more person to our list. In that case, it is this person who is going to shake hands with one, two, three, four existing people, right? So plus four handshakes. And these could be shown here in the diagram as one, two, three, and four. Is that okay? So that is how it is. And when you add four to six, you get 10. For the sixth person, it means five more handshakes. Now I need not sketch and show you, but I can go with this table, right? Five more handshakes, 10 plus five is, is 15. Now I'm not making those arrows, correct? For seventh person, we have this seventh person does shake hand with six people already existing. Is it okay? That means six more. So 15 plus six gives you 21. Do you get the idea? So likewise, we can continue to 12 and find the number of handshakes. That is one way of doing it. But this is very tedious process. If I change this number to 50, then what? Well, it will take the whole day for me to find the number of handshakes. So let us try to figure out a pattern rule, right? So here is when the pattern rule comes handy. Now the pattern rule for this is what? Let's try to see the relation. What is four times three? Let's multiply these numbers. We know four times three is, uh, is 12. How do I get six? If I divide that by two, we get six. Okay, so that means if I times the number with previous number of persons and divide by two, I may get the next number. Let me try this time with five and four, right? So, so let us see what we get. Five times four is 20 and half of 20 is 10. It works, correct? It works. Okay, so let's try with six and seven. So we are doing seven times six. Let me do it here. So seven times six is 42. And when you divide this by two, you do get 21. So it works, right? That means for eight persons, it's now the number should be here, eight times seven, which is 56, then divide by two, which is 28. So let me write 28 and check with the rule which we are following. 21 plus 7 should give me 28. It does. Do you see that? 
So it means this rule works. And therefore, we can say for 12 persons, if we have 12 persons, then it should be 12 times 11, right? 12 times 11 and then divide that number by 2. So let's do it. 12 times 11 and that is 132, right? So we get 132. And divide this by 2. How much do you get? So 132 divided by 2 is 66. So for 12 persons, we should get 66 handshakes, right? So that is our answer. I hope you understand the method and also this, this formula. So here we are saying that if there are n persons, right? Let me write down the formula here. If there are n persons, n persons, in that case, n times n minus 1 divided by 2 is number of handshakes. Is that okay? So that becomes the explicit rule by which we can find it. Now as an exercise, you can continue with this table and check. Do we really get 66 if we keep on adding one more number each time to the existing number, right? So I hope you find it very interesting. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.